Hey there, Mr. Leon Kauma here. So I thought I should do some bonus questions for you in paper one, yeah, because we have some few days and we can't waste time. So I'll do at least 14 questions for you and I hope they will help you renew your mind or revise. So come. We have the following questions. We'll start with question one. It says, evaluate A to the 2 to the power 3. You should know this. This is indices. You should know that this 3 stands for your root. And the 3 root means cube root. So what you're going to do is this. So 3, the cube root. And this stands for power. You put it here. By now you know this. So cube root means how many times? What number if you multiply it 3 times by itself? It will give you 8. That is simple. That is 2. Then this is 2. 2 to the power 2 is 4. Simple as that. Always look at the denominator as the root, the numerator as your power. Yeah. Then we have this. Simplify 3, and then a plus 5, then minus a, then a plus 2. We want to simplify this. So brackets mean multiplication. So 3 times a is 3a. 3 times 5 is 15. A times A is A squared. Negative A times positive A is negative 2A. Pay attention to the negatives because that's what you're going to uh, that's what you're going to find this year. So you have 3A, you group the like terms here. Then minus A squared plus 15. So 3A minus 2A is A. Minus A squared plus 15. So this is what we have. You see, very easy. Once you do this in paper one, oh my god, you are definitely getting a distinction. Then here we have use set notation to describe the shaded region. So you have seen this region that, that they have shaded. This is a new syllabus. So if you see this, there's a set that has all the intersections shaded. What is that set? Q. So this is Q intersection and there's P and R, you combine them. So P union R. That's what it means. So in the exam, they'll say shade A intersection B union C. What this simply means is that A should have all the intersections shaded. That's so. So it's a, this is known as the overlap. So the set that has all the intersections shaded is found outside. Yeah. So pay attention to that. So this set is Q, intersection, P union, R. Simple as that. We move on to this. Express this matrix, these matrices, we multiply them, then we should express them as a single matrix. So before you multiply matrices with different orders, you have to find the order. So how, how many rows are here? There's one row. How many columns? Three. How many rows are here? One, two, three. So three. How many columns? Two. So if I multiply this matrix, I'll have one row, then I'll have two columns. Yeah? Now I can multiply. So I'll have one row meaning something like this. I start to row. You know when you're multiplying this row by column. So negative one times five is negative five. And uh, two times four is uh, eight. Three times three is nine. You see what I did? Cool. I move on to this because it's one row, two columns, so meaning this side. Same row, negative one times negative two is two, two times two is four, three times one is three. Okay, what do we have here? Negative five plus eight, that is three. So three plus nine, nine, ten, eleven, four. So we have twelve here. Then here, two plus four, six. 6 plus 3 is 9. Isn't it? 6 plus 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you have expressed this as a single matrix, which is this. So, but the first thing, you always find the order. Always find the order. Yeah. Then question 6. Find the gradient in 3y plus x is equals to 5. So 3y plus x is equals to 5. What you have to do is make y the subject here. So you're going to have 3y is equals to, this is positive x goes this side, negative x plus 5. So over 3, over 3. This will cancel. y is equals to negative x over 3 plus 5 over 3. This 3 divides into both numbers. 
So your gradient is the number before x. So therefore m, you know, you represent this mx plus c. So m stands for your gradient. So m is the number before x. What is here is an invisible negative 1 over this 3. That's your gradient. Simple things like this, always make sure you hammer them. Yeah. Let's look at our question 7. Find the transpose of B. This is transpose. So transpose means, uh, so B transpose, even show. It means turning a row into a column. So have you seen this row? Become a, becomes a column. So 4, negative 1. Have you seen this row? Becomes a column. 2, 5. You're done. These are only one mark. So let's move on to more questions. All right, we're now on question eight, and this, these are functions. The, re the question reads, given that fx is equals to 5x plus 4 over 5, and gx is equals to x minus 1, find inverse, f inverse. So this is the solution. So L inverse, you are going to write your fx first, your original 5x plus 4 over 5. So have you seen this fx becomes x, so x equals 2, this is 5, then y. So this fx becomes x, this x after equals becomes y, plus 4 over 5. Once you have this, you make y the subject. So here you cross multiply. 5 times x is 5x, is equals to 5y, plus 4. I need my y to be by itself. So this positive 4 goes this side, becomes 5x minus 4, equals to 5y over 5 over 5 so therefore once the y is by itself then you have found your inverse so therefore this is your inverse 5x minus 4 over 5 that's what you have you see that easy 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 then b you have found your inverse so f inverse negative 2 this might be so f inverse negative 2. So I'll write my inverse. What was my inverse? So I'll just have you seen this is my inverse? So where there's x, I'm going to put negative 2. So negative 2 minus 4 over 5. So what is this? Negative 10 minus 4 over 5. It's negative 14 over 5. So that's my f inverse negative 2. We are done. It's, it's easy. You don't need to complicate your life. Yeah? Now, let's move on to C. Fgx. Fgx. So, Fgx. I'll write it here due to space. So this is this is composite function. You're going to write your f first. Then what's your gx? My gx is x minus 1. You see what I did? I write my f, and then I go to my gx. Then I look at my f. My f has 5. So this is known as the outside function. So if the outside function don't include the x, so I just go to write 5 here, then x minus 1. Then you see this plus 4, I'll write this side. Have you seen this over? It will cover everything here. Then you have 5. I proceed here. I hope you saw what I just did. This uh, 5 is this 5. x you don't include because it's the outside function. This plus 4 is the side. Over has covered everything, which is this. So 5 times x is 5x. Five, 5 times negative 1, negative 5 is 4 over 5. So here 5x minus 1 over 5. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's look at question 9. <clears throat> so, evaluate 5 to the power 0 plus 5 to the power 1. Any number to the power 0 is 1 plus. 5 to the power 1 is 5. 1 plus 5 is 6. Easy. Easy. <clears throat> then we have find inter integral 6x squared minus 5 dx. What this means is this. This is what it means. Integration means you add plus 1, and then the answer that you find becomes your denominator. So I say 6x, 2 plus 1. Here, what is 2 plus 1? 3. 
then the integral of a constant you include an x there yeah so here i have uh, 3 into 6 is 2x 2 plus 1 3 minus 5x then you always include plus k or plus c so that's your answer that's how you integrate you add plus 1 your answer denominator yeah and if you can go into the number you do it done Maths is easy. Solve the equation x squared is equal to 3x. Solve the equation x squared is equal to what? 3x. So this is what you do. So x squared is equal to 3x. What you do, this 3x goes aside, comes x squared minus 3x. What do I have remaining? 0. I reach here, simplify, I factorize. So x minus 3 is equal to 0. So here I have x is equal to 0 or x minus 3 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 3. So these are your two answers. x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 3. Yeah? Alright. Then we have question 12. These are revisions so we have an idea. Yeah? Given that a is equal to 3 negative 4, find a. So this is what it means. So a, this, uh, this is known as magnitude. So this is a formula for magnitude. x squared plus y squared. x squared plus y squared. Once you see this symbol, it means magnitude. So this will become your x, this is your y. So this is x squared becomes 3 squared plus y negative 4 squared. So I have 9 uh, negative 4 into bracket squared is positive 16. So what I have here is 25. So what is my answer? What's the root of 25? Is 5. So 5 units. That's my answer. So please memorize this formula and look at this symbol. It means magnitude and this is the formula for magnitude. Our thirteenth question is factorize completely x squared over four y squared minus one over nine. By now you know the difference of what two squares. This is the difference of two squares. So we have x squared over four y squared minus one over nine. So what you do is this: this x squared you open two brackets, so to be x over two y minus one over three. You see, so I found the root of this, found the root of that. Same thing here, x over 2y plus 1 over 3. So, there's nothing that is common, first point, but they all have roots. So that's why. Okay, we're on question 14 now, and the question reads, given that, that, and that is equal to that. Find the value of what? x, this x. So simple thing, it's row by column. So 2 times 4 is 8. Yeah? X times 3, 3x. And this is equal to what? 14. You follow the first number. If you are finding another letter here, you have followed the one that is on the bottom. So you have 3x is equal to 14. This is positive 8. It goes inside minus 8. So 3x is equal to what is 14 minus 8? It will give you 6. So over 3 over 3. This will cancel. x is equal to 2. Yeah? So, my friend, I'm wishing you all the best in your final exams. Let me just pray for you. Close your eyes. So, our dear and Father, I want to say thank you, Lord. Father, I'm committing the, my friend that is watching this video and they are writing exams this week. As a Lord, you may guide them, bless them. Father, I declare distinctions over their life. You shall give them the boldness and the zeal, Lord. They shall not fear. And Father, we await for the testimonies this year, Lord. Thank you for being with us through the months. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Father, we declare that this year will be a year of distinctions and merits. In the mighty name of Jesus, I, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. So don't worry. You have already passed. I see you passing. So stay blessed. Bye-bye.